Hi, I'm Mark Vitardi of the Vitardi Real Estate Group at Century 21 De Piro. Welcome to the George W. Whitney Estate, also known as Rose Hill. Situated on the highest point in Berea, we are located just about 30 minutes away from Cleveland. This beautiful Italianate mansion offers 5,400 square feet of living space, four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and eight fireplaces. It is loaded with character, has a ton of rich history, which we're excited to share with you today. Welcome to the George W. Whitney Estate. Come on in. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Monica. And we've lived here for a little over two years. We're excited to show you the tour. So this is the billiard room. This is my favorite room in the house. Um, and one of the cool things about like this part of the house is Back in the day, it was all about impressing your friends and showing your wealth. So uh, George W. Whitney did that in a lot of ways um, through these couple of rooms here. When you walk in the front door, you have the big crazy entryway, and then you walk through here and they have big poplar doors. Uh, they're super heavy. The, the hinges are super ornate. You can see all the design in them. And then the the doorknobs are, are still the same type of really old school, super ornate type thing. We have this crazy big uh, crown molding, the medallion above the brass chandelier. Uh, everything is just kind of over the top. Welcome to the summer kitchen. This is where people used to cook in this house to get out of the main house and therefore not heat up the main house with a fire. Fireplace is absolutely crazy with all the marble. Um, this is a wood burning insert, which produces a lot of heat. Um, subway tile on the walls, and then the, the ceiling is tin. So this is the study. Um, it's some of the most famous graffiti in all of Berea. It is uh, the George W. Whitney initials that are on the glass here. George gave his second wife, Mary, uh, an engagement ring, and it was so big that she questioned if it was even real. So he grabbed it from her, probably a little bit angrily, and carved his initials into the glass. It's still there. So we're in the living room right now. It used to be a called a parlor room. This is one of the four brass chandeliers that was imported from Budapest. Uh, legend has it it took three guys to hold it up so they could install it. Um, also on the ceiling, you'll see that this is the only room in the house that has ceiling paper. Pretty cool. You could just kind of sit and stare at it for a while. Let's go upstairs. This is one of the guest bedrooms in the house and my favorite bedroom due to the wallpaper um, being red and it just feels really rich and regal in here. And I also love this room because of the wood fireplace. This is the only fireplace in the whole house that is made from wood. And I also love this room because of all of the faces on the ceiling. Um, they're all made from plaster and each one was an individual mold that we actually found the molds in one of our outbuildings. Thank you. 
So this is the primary bathroom upstairs. These tiles were all kiln fired on site in the 90s when it was converted from a bedroom to a bathroom. The uh, shower head is a rainfall shower head and it comes out of a gargoyle's mouth that's on the ceiling. You can see there's another fireplace uh, in the bathroom. Another fun part of the bathroom is it's got a full-size urinal. So um, this is the fourth floor that's called a cupola. Um, and it was made to kind of suck the heat out of the house in the summer. So if you open all the windows, it acts like as a chimney and it's kind of like an old school version of air conditioning. So um, really cools the house down. I hope you enjoyed this historical tour of this beautiful Italianate mansion. Please do not hesitate to contact me for further details or to line up a private showing. Thank you.